Hi, my name is Jose Gil, and this is my design of experiment of my thesis project that is the energy use of the Macralga sargassum in the Mexican Caribbean. As we remember, there is a critical and seasonal situation in the Caribbean zone with the massive affluence of the brown Macralga pelagic sargassum, which causes alarming environmental, social and economic impacts. Interdisciplinary actions are being taken to mitigate the situation, where one of the alternatives is the energy use of the seaweed. And one way to reach this is the thermochemical process hydrothermal liquefaction, which would be an innovative technology since there is a low energy requirement due to the system conditions and it is suitable to this type of wet feedstock. Considering the scientific knowledge in this phenomenon is limited, as well as the presented alternatives, further research and experimentation are necessary. Therefore, this is the design of the experiment of the hydrothermal liquefaction of the pelagic sargassum. Being my outcome the higher heating value of the biocrude oil product, which this value is a function that entirely depends on the properties of this product. The objective is to reach a suitable HHV knowing the specific conditions configuration. The number of experiment is determined by the resources and the time limitations. And for this exercise purpose, first, a fractional factorial design is considered to perform the design with the form of two levels and five minus two factors equal to eight runs with the following factors and resolution. These factors were selected according to similar experiments in the literature, where distinct species of sargasson macroalga are transformed by this type of technology. We have the reaction temperature as main factor followed by the residence time and heating rate, and notice that these first three factors are numerical since they have different numerical parameters, and the last two factors, the use of catalyst and the solvent of the process, are categorical factors. They could be configured to be numerical, but these levels are more significant to the research aims. In the literature, the particle size is characterized as a variable that can affect the outcome. However, this effect would be irrelevant, hard to measure and hard to control. This is the reason to label it as a disturbance in this design. Regarding the resolution of the design, it is suitable to look for a resolution tree because of the nature of the experiment developing a new biomass biocrude oil product and knowing which factors are the most significant to get the highest HHV in the experiment. And considering that there will not be a full factorial design with 32 runs and performing it with only 8 runs, the design is aware of the confounding between main effects and two-factor interactions and considering that there will not be a problem with the aliasing part. This is how the fractional factorial design would look like with the 8 runs and the letter order of the factors with the generators to calculate all the possible aliases. But, is that the most suitable design for my experiment? The answer is no. The features of the experiment let other types of design to fit better considering the studied factors. The most suitable is the split plot design. One factor, and surely the most important, is the reaction temperature, which is a range of temperature of 200 to, to 400 degrees Celsius where the process is performed and considering the variation of this variable, it can be characterized as a hard-to-chain factor. Therefore, the split plot design is suitable for the HTL of the sargassum experiment due to the reaction temperature factor that would be impractical due to cost and time. Randomizing the temperature would be inefficient, so to split the experiments under the levels of the factor is suitable, as well as to continuous process at the lab and industrial scale. Thus, the data analysis would be different from a completely randomized design because the effects can significantly vary. This is due to the estimation of experimental error, since in a split plot experiment, there are two different experimental error structures, one for the whole plot factor and one for the subplot factors, to separate the randomizations in the runs. However, the mathematical concepts are usually more complicated or more general in this type of design than those in the completely randomized design. Therefore, to perform this type of design, it is necessary to use software tools, 
In this case, the package of a split plot design from Minitab. The configuration of the design is for two replicates, one hard to change factor that is numerical, two numerical factors more, and two categorical factors being five in total. The tool offers a set of available split plot designs according to the requirements having the following plan. Two replicates with four whole plots, this means that the runs are determined by each level of the factor reaction temperature, in this case, two levels per whole plot. Resolution 3, one quarter fraction factorial and 16 total runs. The outcome of the plan notices that about the main effects confounded with two-way interactions. Then the generators are presented. It is important to highlight that since there are two categorical factors, the generators are computed differently if all the factors were numerical. The outcome shows that D is equal to N times B times C and E equal to A times B following by the alias structure. Notice that the factor E has two second order interactions and it seems that there is not a problem with the factor assignment so far observing the possible interactions between the confounding factors. Finally, the randomized design table, the most important part is the coding signs of factor A, which are split in the four whole plots, the first one with the high level, second and third with the low level, and the fourth with the high level again. Complementing the design plan, this is the storage worksheet where the standard order which is not presented in the final design table, as well as the classification of each factor. Notice that in the column of the categorical factors are marked with a T, which means text. This is the way that they are stored as categorical, even the coded values are aligned differently. And that's it. Thank you for watching the video.